I got my first camera, I think around 16, I wanna say, 16 or 17. I mean, I can't explain to you the feeling I got from taking photos. To this day, it persists. That's what started me down the path of photography, really, is, is just seeing images and then creating images and then knowing that I can see the world selectively. I joined the military like a month out of leaving high school, two days after I turned 18. So I had no idea who I was, but I had my camera. When I got to my base in Japan, I started photographing a lot uh, of the planes because I wanted to be a pilot. I think I, I'm, I'm a visual person in general. When I grew up, um, I, I distinctly remember reading National Geographic. The images took me to a place where I really just explored the world. While I was in Afghanistan, I started making that work with tintypes. You've got this beautiful sepia-toned style, but it's more hands-on. And I liked being hands-on. Tintypes are part of a term for wet collodion. Collodion itself being the, the film, and wet being the part that it's, it's gotta stay wet. The plate itself is the photo. It's a negative image, believe it or not, because you direct expose the image onto the plate. When I really started realizing like maybe I've got something to it is that I would take the photos and then some of the pilots, I would send them the photos I took and they were really impressed. Everything that's happening in the photo, I'm thinking about what happened before the photo. I like to look at little details and I like to look at people's interactions with each other. I care more about the relationship I have with that person than I care about what my lens can do. I'm interested in that person's humanity and then I'll take that image. The blanket image with Dan Rodriguez, who I met in art school. That blanket was, was from Afghanistan, actually. He's American, but his family has distinct roots in the Mexican native population. He had been all over America playing his music and being an activist for Native American rights and causes. So I said, hey, you know, I would love to do some photos of Native Americans, and you know, if you could try, kind of like introduce me to some friends. I had a, a, a real passion and love for Native American culture growing up as a young boy. I thought it was the, the most amazing way to exist with the land and be human and their recognition of, of our connections to, to everything around us. I think the history of Native American culture is to take. You know, whether it's their image, their culture, or, or their bodies, there's a constant take from them, an appropriation of their culture as well, which is not ever my intention with any photo. And with all of my photography, whether it be digital film or tintype, it's about perspective and framing it in a specific kind of uh, context. So with the tintype, I was like, I want to historically contextualize you and show your beauty. Because I think a brown person telling another brown person's story is very important. What I set to do as an artist is change the narrative of American history. I took a photo of my sons in a cotton field. It didn't have the bowls yet, so it looks like a regular little bush. I kind of relished in the idea that, oh yeah, you know, some slave master is rolling in his grave right now because we're trying to change what he worked really hard to build. And here I am standing in this field and taking this photo. As an artist, that's what drives me. And I don't even see myself as an artist sometimes. I see myself as a storyteller. And, and as an artist, you could come up with a million ideas of who you are. But in essence, I'm a man, I'm a human, I'm a father, I'm a husband. And I'm just telling the story of people, truthfully. 
as much as you can in a photo.